all right guys so in this session we are going to establish a soap connector uh, using wizard so we have got uh, a visual definition here that we will leverage which actually gets the bank detail based on blz code this is from germany so this is the visual you need a visual definition that actually has the method definition from the service provider this wsdl file that has the method this is called web service description language wsdl it has uh, the description of the service that the host is offering and it also gives you a uh, structure how you can send your request and get the response uh, we needed some sample sample code visual code uh, sample um, blz code so i have one here that we can use for testing okay. <clears throat> remember this is soap now in the soap uh, we work on XML. The entire request and response moves into an envelope, uh, which is XML envelope. So you need something, some rule to parse the data from the Pega into XML. Whenever you are parse, you are uh, basically converting your value into XML. You use XML stream. For outgoing okay this is to convert into XML then you will have your connector which will connect soap basically it will send this request into the XML, XML format and receive the response into the XML format. Then you will have to convert that XML into clipboard. You will use XML parse rule. Okay. Of course, you will need the class and everything, class and data to map just like how we did it for the REST. You can refer to the REST uh, connector session for this. But let's try to set it up. We will first set up using um, with, uh, using wizard okay so integration connector soap integration so you can download the visual and uh, visual description basically web service description language and upload it into a file from a file or you can directly use the url so we have the url we will use the url directly miss can ping that in chat also it will yes yes I will. Yes. all right so these are two ports available uh, basically in the definition of the service in this uh, domain actually so we do not control that all right um, you can look at the visual file uh, this is the operation get bank this is the only operation you can test it here that is supported on the service so you can send a blz code and test it Mm. One second. So let me apply it here. Test it. And this is the detail that get returned by the service. Okay, this is some big ID. This is some PLZ. This is some 
call and name probably ORT, whatever it is. You can look at the XML as well. So this is the data that we will receive. Okay. Authentication. Close it. Let's continue. So integration layer, we need to create a class. So I will say TB. This is the integration class. And I will put it into B3 integration. That's the parent and it will be creating a new class. Um, they will be using the existing rule set. B3 but a new version, okay. That's fine. Let's create. Good. So it must have created a service. Sorry, up integration class tb under that get bank uh, blz service under that you will see a connector created connect soap get bank now this get bank basically go to the request tab it's no longer in the rest we have get and post right in the soap we have request and response so this is the request uh, where we are basically sending uh, using xml literal which is basically xml stream which actually converts the value from the clipboard to uh, to ex um, to XML okay so get bank BLZ code this is only thing we need but this will also be taking it from a property we have a request property parameters see and this has BLZ code and it has its own definition bank type if you look at the get bank type this one so it will have the BLZ as a property just like we did it in the soap arrest exactly similar it's just that we are not using the property value directly, but we are leveraging the property value. We are mapping it onto an XML stream rule to convert it into XML format. So this is the main page. Under that page, we have that value BLZ. That's what we are translating into XML. Similarly, in the response, we are using XML parse rule which actually maps everything from the response property into individual property. Details, if you look at the response, it's not very much sorted, but under, under detail, we have all the things. Yeah, this way. Details, details is the response page, and under that we have these things. So. This is the structure. This is the parse rule. When we get the XML, we will convert it into properties on the clipboard. All right. Now you need to basically trigger this um, this connector to get the data you can trigger the connector through the activity or through the data page so I'm going to create a data page but I will not set up a data class here okay this time I can directly use the integration data class itself I will set up everything in the integration class so I'm going to create a data page here page only yeah and I will be using connector but soap 
get bank remember on the get bank we have a uh, parameter under the parameter parameter we have blz that's where we will have to set the value for the request so i'm going to ask the re uh, request here b l z as a parameter so when you call this data transform you will have data page you will have to provide the blz and that i'm going to use a request dt to map it to the right property similar to rest the only thing is that it gets request and response get translated into xml that's it so here we have request parameter dot plz and that will be set using param dot blz that's request okay and uh, you need to pass the parameter and then we will need a response dt the same class same parameters are not necessarily we needed to convert it but just for the sake of explanation so whatever i'm getting in the response i'm just converting that directly to a response response that's it same property okay let's save this and run it see you got the response on the clipboard and now you can use this data page as you wish now the this is how we can connect uh, we can set up a quick connector basically using soap connect um, wizard okay you can leverage the wizard to create connector soap connector really quick you just need the xml schema uh, xml not xml sorry wsdl definition all right so this is a sample uh, demo basically how to use soap connector